वेलकम टू इपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर मृणमय प्रामाणिक आई टीच कम्पेटिव इंडियन लैंगुएज एंड लिटरेचर एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलकाटा टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ मॉड्यूल फ्रॉम द पेपर इंडियन एस्थेटिक्स एंड दिस मॉड्यूल इज ऑन बाल चंद्र निमाडे एंड हिज आइडिया ऑफ नेटिविजम इन हिज बुक नेमाडे Uh, the book is uh, nativism or deshi vad nimade writes a line that there is no east and no west all is global and problem lies here he begins uh, this idea of nativism from this theoretical problem in this era of globalization it is very often argued that no cultural or literary elements are nativist rather they are global immense growth of technology and people's access to it no doubt offers a knowledge of different cultural zones of the world new liberal economy successfully has commercialized cultural products of different regions and circulated those to the other parts of the world but this is partial or very limited observation it is not astonishing that all the parts of the globe is not equally represented in this era of immense technological growth people culture and the communities survive with their past with their indigenous and traditional cultural beliefs and systems in different forms <clears throat> if such practices do not happen so materially it still exist in collective memory of the communities the point here is the concept of globalization and the concept of the nativism is not exactly opposite to each other opposite or opposite to ideas and one does not ensure the absence of the other to understand nativism in culture language or literature we have to understand the historical development of one literature and its contemporary or current trends but globalization is not only force which makes people skeptical about locating the nativity in a certain cultural system but there were whole lot of other epistemological forces and Uh, what have um, uh, already changed the lives thoughts and practices um, of the communities such as colonialism imperialism modernism etc in different periods of history such experiences challenged the nativist practices of the communities who have come across the historical phenomena now let us talk about the birth of the concept of nativism in america in 1835 to 1845 the concept of americanism was emerged which was the the the, the parent idea of giving birth the idea of nativism native plus ism nativism as a concept was introduced in india during 1980s it was introduced in india through english in india valchandra nimade pioneer theorist of nativism or desivad says i quote the task of preparing again a viable indian critical tradition may not be possible unless all the systems of literature productive 
डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव एंड कंजर्मटिव आर ओरिजिनली देसी और नेटिविस्टिक अनकोट द कोलोनियलिज्म एंड रेस्ट्रिक्टिंग ऑफ इंडियन कल्चर ड्यूरिंग दिस इरा ऑफ ब्रिटिश राज अन एनिमसली डिस्क्राइब्ड इंडियन कल्चर एज लो वैल्यू कल्चर Nemade correctly established the point of beginning of his discussion in saying that it had been certainly a high value culture till the 17th century which created Darashiko the Tej and Tukaram to mention only a few i unquote so nemade's point is the indian culture was high culture in ancient period it was high culture in medieval period and it is it was high culture in pre colonial era and india gave birth of highly mature talent in poetry in prose in grammar in philosophy in science and in other epistemological thoughts in writing the rasa sahitya or romantic sahitya literature and other genres of literature and the translators india had very talented translators of the ramayana and the mahabharata in every nook and corner of india india had a very talented literary figures in bhakti movement or in medieval era india had very good efficient translator like the translator of ramayana mahabharata vagbata purana and the translator like dara shiko so when it is considered as local culture when the british the india encountered with british or the british or the europe european cultural and knowledge hegemony started to oppress the indian indigenous ideas of religion philosophy history and literature now let us talk about the definition of nativism what is nativism nativism is a policy or practice or idea of preserving or carrying one's culture in which she or he finds history of his or her ancestors the policy of protecting the interest of native inhabitants against those of immigrants this is very uh, contemporary or modern idea of nativism uh, because the the immigration in europe and immigration in us creates a political problem in european and american concept so nativism as a idea is actually reshaped in contemporary time to to uh, to uh, show the immigrants as other and who do not have a right to the land where they have been immigrated the theory that humans are biologically equipped with a knowledge of certain universal elements of language structure that is brought into play in the course of native language acquisition so nativism is understood from the perspective of language also and chomsky has brilliant works on this oxford dictionary available at oxforddictionary.com uh, it defines nativism as a return to or emphasis on indigenous custom in opposition to outside influence your dictionary.com defines nativism as the revival or preservation of a native culture webster's dictionary available at the merriam webster dictionary.com it defines nativism as the revival or perpetuation of an indigenous culture especially in opposition to acculturation online dictionary available at dictionary.reference.com it puts nativism as the policy or practice of preserving or reviving an indigenous culture the university desk encyclopedia defines nativism as turning in 
of a country or society towards its own culture through movements rejecting foreign influence next rejecting foreign influences ideas or immigrants world english dictionary available at the dictionary dot reference it defines nativism as the policy of protecting and reforming native tribal cultures in reaction to acculturation so from this definition we can understand that nativism is preserving one's culture finding out one's history of ancestors establishing one's unique identity which is not acculturated which is not globalized which is not international so nativism can be observed in contemporary time from different perspectives from the european native perspectives what observe the immigrants as other from the american native perspective what observe the immigrants as or migrated people as others we can observe nativism from the tribal perspective that the tribals are the original people of the land and the aryans or other communities they actually invaded the land so the nativism is actually preserving the culture language and the whole identity economy uh, religion of the native people which have been facing threats since last thousands or more years and especially it faced threats in uh, with the european invasion in different countries different tribal lands of india of africa latin america and the america and <clears throat> we can observe that this nativism also kind of uh, impossible um, action because the globalization has such capturing power over the uh, different indigenous communities but why then nativism because in spite of uh, being oppressed or surrounded or uh, being into net by the globalized culture or neoliberal culture um, or the or this immense growth of technology we have to find we means the any any native any community have to find their history their identity their their place of origin their original culture and they have to revival their own history to to combat with with the um, uh, monolingual cacophony with the monocultural assertion now let us talk about valchandra nimade who um, actually elaborated theorized the idea of nativism in indian context and who initiated the, this discussion on nativism with his writing in marathi in early 1980s valchandra vanaji nimade was born in 1938 and he is a marathi writer from maharashtra he is famous for his books hindu and kosala eminent marathi literature literatu valchandra nimade whose 1963 novel kosala or kokun changed the dimension of marathi novel it was on friday uh, selected for 2014 uh, ganpit award the highest literary honor in india by the ganpit selection board nemade is the fourth marathi writer to win the ganpit award this literary honor and uh, after the vs khandekar in 1974 Uh, vv shirwadkar um, and uh, alias uh, kushumagaraj in 1988 and govind karandikar alias vinda karandikar in 2003 i quote uh, novelist poet critic academic and a relentless advocate of the literary movement and the leader of the post 1960s little magazine movement nemade has inscribed his name prominently in the annals of indian literature especially for offering this theoretical understanding 
of nativism in his book nativism or deshibad because this is observed as the text of post colonial studies a text of anti colonial uh, movement against the uh, colonial thought and the colonial philosophy and the colonial methodology of practicing knowledge and this is one of the uh, literary thought or philosophical thought what um, is unique in india in the sense that after colo uh, after colonialism or colonization india uh, couldn't have produced original literary thought uh, except the dalitism or dalit literary theory nemade's contribution to the literary form of the novel are peerless not only was uh, kosla in, in instrumental in changing the dimension of the marathi novel but the world of marathi fiction was transformed with its advent the mega novel hindu published in uh, 2010 appears to match this feat that kosla achieved over 5 decades ago the statement says in the hindu newspaper nemade's folk, uh, famous book nativism or desivad is published from Indian Institute of Advanced Study Shimla in 2009 the chapters of the books are as follows preface nativism in literary culture modernity globalization and nativism uh, native styles colon orality marathi novels 1857 to 1975 the story of yogananda in the katha sarit sagara arun kolatkar and bilingual poetry so these chapters in his books uh, gives us a glimpse to to uh, get into the idea of nativism and to uh, it is also not worthy to mention here that valchandra nemade is not only a theorist not only a literary figure but he is trained linguist so uh, the, such kind of work get a richness because of his training and his knowledge in variety uh first let us consider deshibad or nativism nemade seems to popularize this new concept in marathi criticism he tells us that deshibad is a translation of english term nativism which means that while alleging that marathi criticism is overly dependent on english and this case we can find in, in in case of any other modern indian literature that modern indian literature is started from the perspective of european or american mostly european literary theories so nemade himself is borrowing from this idea from english and be that as it may what is more important according to him is that the term nativism is used in anthropology uh, we have not come across that this concept was ever widely used or in use today in western literary discourse which means that nemade is trying to make marathi criticism swallow an anthropological point of view of criticism in the course of the essay nemade refers to jeans darwin and also cities the cites the example of uh, giraffe's long neck which means nemade views literature through the glasses of anthropology genetics and geology or the theory of evolution this is not a new point of view for analyzing literature and by now its limitations have also been exposed exactly the same kind of inspiration was behind emil jolas concept of naturalism secondly anthropologists probably study the sensibility of nativism as a matter of curiosity but the author of this piece from where i am quoting but i doubt if they endorse it as an evaluative tool the author's doubt is that and author tells that nemade seems to be taking a quantum jump by applying this concept to literature more so by endorsing it as a literary value 
but he cannot justify this jump just by pointing his finger at anthropology. For this purpose, it is necessary to scrutinize the concept in the context of what constitutes greatness in literature and literary values. It is disputable whether any literature benefits simply by the application of the concept of nativism. And the author of this piece do not think Nemade can claim to know any decisive answer. For that purpose, it would be necessary uh, it would be necessary to study literary histories of different countries from a comparative point of view. Though Nemade talks about comparative literature in this context and the, and, uh, the author whose uh, comments I am quoting here also in, in support of comparative methodology in studying literature to get new literary theory of analyzing literature. More often it is found that when a literary tradition abandoned its parochial nativism and narrow nationalism and adopted the attitude of the honey bee, it flourished vibrantly. I unquote. And this piece is taken from the Muse India Journal. Now let us go into the concept of nativism. I quote, the concept of nativism appears to consist, consist of two constituents held together in a dialectical relationship the self and other. When in European or American context, we are talking about uh, nativism, we are talking about immigrants as other. So there is a self who has um, sole authority on the land. So the others who are coming for the other countries are immigrants and they are other. And so the, the, the concept of native or nativism emerged um, very in high manner. The self is a whole with which a deshi identifies himself or herself, almost fluctuating boundaries where a community has evolved a relatively stable form of life over a stretch of time, a common mode of production, a common matrix of religious, social, moral, artistic practices, a common belief structure, language, a shared history, are commonly taken as indicators of a form of life that has been evolved. It is not necessary that all the indicators must be present, but it is expected that many of them should be. The other is that which is appreciably different from the self on many of the above points. The relation between the two can be one of peaceful coexistence, but often it is conceived to be a power relation, not a relation between difference, but of opposites. One community forcibly tries to bring about changes in another community. The relation obviously becomes a power relation, I unquote. And these things uh, we, we um, exactly observe during colonial era or during the time of different imperialism. And this is observed in contemporary time of neo uh, colonialism or neo imperialism, where the uh, whole world, uh, whole earth is imagined as global community. Uh, here it should be rem remembered that nativism is not an obsession with roots. Instead, it is a concept which has come to challenge the very idea of Eurocentric modernism and internationalism. The tendency to compare every literary text or trend with some Euro-American product as said by Indranath Chaudhuri in his welcome address speech at a seminar on Desivad in Indian literature organized by Saitya Academy in collaboration with the Center for Creative Writing and Publication, IIT Kanpur in 1995. Makarant Paranjape defines nativism as a form of indigenous whose agenda can be summed up as a cry for cultural self-respect. He described it as a militant or aggressive form 
of the passive and self-evident quality of nativeness. He also calls it the value of being native. It is the value which is inherent in any cultural object, belief or practice. It implies the natural state of sustaining the status quo. Nativism is thus for Paranjapa and Nimade establishing of one's right to exist as one is. Now let us talk why we need nativism. Why do we need it? Kalidasa is the Shakespeare of India or Balmiki is the Homer of the East. All these foreign signifiers become a primary base of our linguistic science in literary criticism. But who was the Tukaram of West? Nemade asked. Or what was the Ajanta or the Mahabharata of the West? Each culture has its Deshi modernity or native modernity. Being native means being attached, attached to a particular place. When we talk about Indian modernity, we not only talk about a singular or single modernity, we talk about colonial modernity, alternative modernity, indigenous modernity, and several other kinds of modernity. Even there is difference between the modernity and the concept of adhunik or adhunikata. In Bangla, we can find several words um, equivalent to modern or modernity, and those are the adhunikata, nobbo, etc. What are, exa uh, what are uh, discussed uh, thoroughly or, and, and theorized in Partho Chatterjee's uh, <coughs> book on empire and nation. So, uh, if there are different kinds of modernity and it uh, implies that nativism or native identity exists there in the concept of modernities. According to Tagore, what he said in Adhunik Kabbo or modern poetry, he said that while literature take a bend, a remarkable bend that is modern. So modern exists in past, modern exists in present and in contemporary time. So we have different modernities in our literary history. To nativistic in order to survive. So why we have to be nativistic? Because we have to survive. We have to save our culture, our identity and our history of our root, our originality. Native principle is fundamental to literature and this native idea will come for our literary practice. Literature is a record of our native history. The regional may be thought of only as subset of the nativist. So nativism is not necessarily mean the regionalism or regional identity. Regional identity is a subset of whole idea of nativism. According to Makarand Paranjape, Deshivad or nativism is a militant or aggressive form of that passive and self-evident quality of deshipana or nativeness. That is the value of being desi or native. Which value is inherent in any cultural object, belief or practice and which implies the natural state of sustaining the status quo? Nativism is thus establishing of one's right to exist as one is. Now, we can have critic of nativism, what we can find in Dilip Chavan's writing on Nemade's nativism in Muse India. Actually, Nemade introduced his concept of Deshivad or nativism during the early 1980s, but did not bother to elicit proper response outside the Marathi literary circles. Indian Institute of Advanced Study of Shimla has done a great job by inviting him to deliver lectures on nativism or deshivad, which certainly compelled the highly devoted teacher in him to revise, restructure, uh, systematize, elaborate, and illustrate his ideas available in 
stray essays. The outcome is the book on nativism or desivad in English, the well-organized and extremely meticulous presentation of the concept in English will be of great help to the Indian scholars at the national and international level to read literary and critical works from a proper perspective. Many critics who had complaints against Nemade for not supporting his position by providing essential details in a systematic manner to their satisfaction will be silenced now. His position on one nativism in literary culture, two modernity, globalization and nativism, three native style orality and four the development of novel as a genre in India with special reference to Marathi novel 1857 to 1974 along with Katha Sarit Sagara and bilingual poetry is very much clear now. It certainly invites the instigates the scholars to debate and discuss a number of issues to be tabled urgently in the academic circles, repeatedly getting indulged into explicating the hidden layers of meta-narratives of Marx, Freud, to of grammatology of Derrida to understand literature and its various aspects. Nemade expects us to look into our own tradition to form our own standards to judge the quality of literary work. So our theory or our methodology of criticism will emerge from our own very literary practice. Among the critics who have sensed fully the potential of Nemade's position to offer viable literary tradition of our own are Jain Devi and Makarand Paranjape. However, many more critics have reservations about its viability and raise questions about its relevance in changing times. Some of them hasten to stamp it as conservationist, traditional, separatist, narrow and revivalist. Some Dalit critics read in it a Hindutva element. They lament that a progressive scholar like Nimade has fallen into the trap of Hindutva forces. How much sub substance such an allegation carries has to be assessed very carefully. Uh, assessed carefully. There is another class of critics which appears to be totally baffled to see the complex dynamics of his theory, searching for the space between Hullavalu of two extremes, Western and Sanskritic. To grasp this confusion in its fullest sense, we cannot afford to ignore the socio-historical elements operating behind it. Obviously, we need not labor much to illustrate that Brahminic dominance in all walks of life has spoiled the very fabric of a nation by establishing a monopoly of its obsolete ideas and thereby denying the, the basic, denying the basic uh, human dignity to the larger mass. Worst of it was to regard certain sections of society as untouchables. Naturally, there is a strong resistance to any concept, concomitment to Vedic parotry or the self-righteous Brahminic worldview as holier than thou. Therefore, as a reaction to the oppressive Brahminic dominance, many scholars view Western knowledge systems as a liberating force. To them, except Buddhism, anything indigenous is synonymous with Brahminic. Hence, with all enthusiasm, they condemn it. Paradoxically, many nativistic forms of creations have been developed and preserved by lower sections of society. Interestingly enough, Nemade draws our attention towards the role played by lower sections of society in keeping the traditions alive. He regards Brahmin dominated Hindu society as an example of nativistic narcissism and warns that if a de delicate demarcation line between fundamentalism and nativism 
is not maintained. It may serve base to fundamentalist and fanatics. On the basis of this scan, we really raise questions about the credentials of Nemate. Can we really say that Nemate's nativism or Deshivad is the extension of Brahminic hegemony? Does the nativism really carry some Hindutva element? The book on nativism answers most of these questions. Nemade refutes all the charges and leads his argument further to question reliability of Western ideas which originated from tiny island cultures with little history to claim and very few classics in literature to form the standards which can be applied universally to the literary works springing from altogether different cultures. I unquote. Now from this long uh, quotation of um, critic Dilip Chavare, uh, we can understand that there are a whole lot of criticism against Nemade's idea of nativism, especially where the Dalit movement is very strong and Dalit movement brought a radical change and gave new shape to Marathi literature. And Dalit aesthetics emerged as uh, aesthetics of modern India or the aesthetic contribution of India after the ancient or medieval era. So uh, to the Dalits, nativism is, uh, is kind of Brahminic literary theory as they do not regard any other um, uh, religious philosophy or literary philosophy other than Buddhism. But as <laughs> Dilish Chevade suggested us that we have to assess this argument very carefully because there were a long tradition of bhakti movement what observed the emergence of lower caste talent people from the lower and marginal section of india and when we are talking about nativism we are actually talking about that glorious past of medieval india because medieval india only observed the emergence of modern Indian languages. So when Nemade is talking about the Marathi literature, talking about Katha Sarit Sagara or the bilingual poet, we can have reference from the medieval India when the modern Indian languages emerged in its full-fledged and modern Indian language um, uh, wrote so many literary texts. So our nativism brought us back to that that, that, that history of literature to that, that culture of creation of new genre, method of writing literature, writing history, writing biography, autobiography, charita, etc. what we found in medieval Indian culture. So it is not appropriate to brand the nativism of Valchandra Nemade as Brahminic and keep it aside because we are proud of it that nativism as a theory along with Dalitism and Dalit aesthetics um, is a contribution of modern India to the world of aesthetics or uh, to the world aesthetics uh, thought and theories. So what uh, criticism is there against nativism of Valchandra Nemade can actually revive the whole idea of nativism and can reshape the whole idea of nativism because this is the era when we are looking for our past, our history, our identity, our ancestors, we are looking for uh, the new methodology of analyzing our literature, we are looking for new theories uh, to understand our literature and our literary past. So in this regard, nativism is very significant concept and philosophy to understand ourselves, to understand India and that India is not restricted to any uh, particular caste or any particular class but it we can have approach across the classes and across the caste caste especially nativism is very significant very necessary idea to understand tribal literature dalit literature and the folk, folk literature produced since thousands of years in indian literary history thank you